all day. Y'all know who it is? It is your girl. Oh, yeah. With tips for Tuesday, the highly acclaimed show that you all wait for every week um, on Tuesday. Sometimes Thursday. So just depends on the crazy week. All right. So today I would like to talk to you guys about a topic that I'm sure all of us have dealt with at one time or another, and that is rejection. So rejection is that thing that stops us all from uh, going to the next level, from doing what it is that you may have aspired to do or that you wanted to do in your life. Rejection is um, the fear of rejection is the thing that stops you from doing that new thing that you probably need to do financially or want to do because of your desires in your heart. And so what will we do about that, Fancy? How do we deal with the fear of Practical rejection. tips to dealing with the fear of rejection. Number one, if you don't get the new job, what's the issue? You already have a job. So it's not going to kill you. And then knowing what you need to do, like say you go for the new job, you do the, you do the um, interview and everything, and they're like, well, we're looking for somebody that has this. And that was the one thing you didn't have. Then now, not only um, have you defeated um, the fear in you by doing the um, interview, but now you also know, need, uh, now you also know the one thing that you need to work on to take you to that next level. So that is the first thing. Don't fear rejection, number one reason is because the outcome does not change your current status. So if you're currently able to pay your bills, if you're currently satisfied in your current situation is not horrible, you are only rejected as you allow yourself to feel. So if I audition for something and I don't get it, um, which I, initially I used to be really nervous when I um, do auditions, like what if they don't like me? What if they... What if they don't? Am I in any worse position than I was before? I'm not going to allow myself to get defeated. What you tell yourself is like, this part wasn't for me. Um, God says, what what is for me is for me. So that part obviously was not for me. Um, and it doesn't mean that I'm not good. It doesn't mean that I'm not, it doesn't mean that you're not smart. It doesn't mean you're not beautiful, whatever it is. None of those things are the case because nobody can get everything. Think about that also nobody can get everything that they audition for every job they interview for so this is just one of the things that wasn't for you that is your second tip on how to deal with rejection it just wasn't for you so do not like yeah let yourself feel the third type of rejection is probably the hardest that we'll ever have to deal with it's not a job it's not um an audition and it's the rejection from others your re rejection, I didn't know why I'm having a hard time saying rejection today. The rejection that you feel that is caused from a spouse or a relationship type of person, um, that can often occur in relationships where you feel rejected from the other person. Maybe the other person has withdrawn themselves uh, physically. Maybe the other person has withdrawn themselves emotionally. Maybe the other person has just withdrawn themselves in ways that you used to feel connected to them before and you have asked and you have talked about it but you are not sure what is causing the rejection Maybe you've shot your shot and um the person let me talk about that um for a little bit and then i'll go back to what i was saying um oftentimes people feel a sense of rejection when the opposite sex that they're trying to get with or court um, it, it is not returned and they turn mean like well you're not all that anyway or I didn't really like you anyway or don't do that that is not classy not everyone you like will like you that. not every woman you think is attractive is going to think you're attractive not every guy lady that you think is attractive and hot thinks you're attractive and hot. It's just, does not work like that. So again, use my same tactic. Like if the person doesn't return, whatever it is, that's not the person for you. That's it. Don't allow somebody's, uh, you're not mine mean you're not any good. Cause just because you're not mine doesn't mean you're not any good. It just means you're not good for me is all feeling rejected by someone you're in a relationship with how do we deal with that fancy what should we do in that situation obviously number one is to communicate allow that person to know they are um 
they are causing you to feel rejection and why they are. And if you're with a normal human being that likes to have pleasantries in their relationship, hopefully they will listen and understand and uh, be able to help you. Um, well, be able to help you to see what is going on with them and then somehow together you come out with a compromise. If you are unable to get through to the person that you are feeling this uh, sense of rejection with, here's what you need to do. See someone. See a therapist, a counselor, somebody that you could talk to to share your feelings, share the situation um, that is outside of the situation um, so that they can give you a clear insight as to what may be going on. That is paramount and number one that if you're able to do, do it. If not, talk to a friend that you consider to be smart, intelligent, and uh, not one-sided and not somebody that is just going to take your side of the situation that is objective. So all of us have somebody that's just, you know, your girlfriend that's like, what he do? Oh, we about to go. Bop, bop, bop. No, don't tell her. She's not going to be able to help. Tell the friend that you have in your life that is objective. Maybe it could be a parent too. Um, talk to your parents about it. If you have somebody that can be objective and not treat the person differently. Um, first key, right? Do that. Um, everyone can do that if you're unable to actually uh, go to a counselor or a therapist. Um, so that's what you want to do first if your spouse um, or significant other is not um, allowing you to work through this together. And do that. The reason why you really need to do that is because sometimes when you are being rejected, it can mess with your self-esteem. And I do not want you to get into that realm of feeling like you are not worth it, you are not beautiful, you are not handsome, whatever it is, because of something someone else may be projecting onto you. All right. So you want to get help in that I area. This last, it is not what your last thing you're supposed to do. The very first thing you're supposed to do when you're feeling rejected is to talk to God. Tell him how you're feeling. Tell him what's causing it and help and ask him to give you the guidance for it. You know, Lord, help me. Help me to uh, figure out what I need to do to make this situation better. Um, that is very important. So that's the number one thing that you're going to do. And then you're going to follow through with the other things that I talked about. But rejection is real, guys. It causes, it can cause you to be depressed. It can cause you to feel um, a lack of self-worth and all those things. And so I just want as fancy today to encourage you guys that you are awesome. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You can get that new job. You can get that new part in the movie. You can do it all. All because you are built to win. And that is your tip for Tuesday. You are built to win. You all have a blessed week and I'll see you next week on Tips for Tuesday. I want you to be blessed. Don't live life in distress. Just let go, let God. He'll work it out for you.